Let's take a look at these three lifestyles in just a little bit more detail. Here is fueling and heterotrophs. Again, these are bacteria that need to acquire the building blocks. As you can see here, the organic substrates that they require are outside of the cell. They're imported into the cell by some of the transport mechanisms we talked about. So now they're in the cytosol. They get put into the central metabolic pathways, which are shown in color here. And these include glycolysis, the TCA or the Krebs cycle, and the pentose phosphate pathway. These use an electron transport to generate energy in the form of NADH or ATP and precursor metabolites. The precursor metabolites then go to make the, the amino acids, which then are, are used for larger molecules. So these are examples of bacteria that need to acquire the organic substrates preformed. They can't make them. The chemoautotrophs can take inorganic ions and import them into the cell and use them to make energy by an electron flow that's in the membrane of the cell. They can also take carbon dioxide and feed that into these central metabolic pathways and make all of the precursor metabolites that they need. All of those chemicals that are then going to go on and make amino acids and lipids and so forth, these bacteria can synthesize. It's quite remarkable. So remember, in comparison, the heterotrophs have to import the precursor molecules that they need. These bacteria can synthesize them on their own. And finally, the photoautotrophs. They use light to make energy in the form of ATP or NAD. They import carbon dioxide and they make all the precursor metabolites that they need, very much like uh, the autotrophs, except that here light is used to make energy. So three remarkably different and flexible and versatile ways to build new bacteria. Now, along with these metabolic differences, we also classify microbes according to how they respond to oxygen. And I want to review that with you here. We have one class of bacteria that we call aerobes. Another way of describing these are strict aerobes. These bacteria will grow in air, but if you take away oxygen, they will not grow at all. So they are strict aerobes, they need oxygen. An example is the soil growing bacteria, Bacillus subtilis. Another class is the anaerobe, also known as the strict anaerobe. It will not grow in air. If you want to grow these bacteria in the laboratory, you have to grow them in a vacuum without air. Uh, they will grow without oxygen. They don't need it, and in fact, it's bad for them to have it. An example of this is Clostridium botulinum, a bacterium that makes a very potent toxin, botulism toxin. We then have facultative uh, bacteria. These bacteria can grow in air or they can grow without oxygen. They can go either way. That's why we call them facultative. An example is Escherichia coli, that common inhabitant of our intestinal tract. We also have another class which we call indifferent. It's a funny name to give a bacteria. We also call these aerotolerant anaerobes. They will grow in air and they will grow without oxygen. An example is Streptococcus pneumoniae, the agent of pneumonia in humans. Now you may wonder what's the difference between a facultative and an indifferent uh, bacterium. Well, there are other chemical differences and metabolic differences that distinguish these two. And finally, we have what we call microaerophilic bacteria. These will grow a little bit in air. They don't do so well, but they do fine without oxygen. So they'd rather not have air present, but if they happen to have it, it won't inhibit their growth. An example is Campylobacter jejuni. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.